This leaked CCTV footage shows the dramatic moments heavily armed police aim their guns at surrendering youth detainees and apprehend the unarmed children. Eight youths have now been charged with taking part in the November riot, which caused some $750,000 worth of damage. Rewind just a few hours and the critical moment that sparked the riot is also captured on camera. Detainees and staff can be seen grouping near a doorway when a detainee snatches keys from a guard. A scuffle breaks out and the guards retreat indoors, while detainees unlock cells and arm themselves with star pickets and broken table legs. The police are soon called, who use tear gas to stop detainees attempting to break out of Dondale. They also rescue the guards and escort them to safety, one of whom required stitches for an arm wound. During the riot, the centre's school burned down and detainees were filmed throwing rocks and objects over the fence. Police said their negotiations resulted in 13 detainees surrendering. The others, who number no more than a dozen, are gradually apprehended in the early hours of the next morning. Um, since then, there's been a, uh, At a media conference the same day, police declined to say what weapons they'd used to regain control of the centre, but this footage makes clear they used laser scope assault weapons in their Bearcat armoured vehicle. The Department of Territory families said they had a full complement of staff the night of the riot and the footage appears to show many private security guards at the centre as opposed to youth justice officers. The opposition has been scathing of the government's refusal to release the CCTV from the riot via freedom of information applications.